TCU is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Red 2. Blue 20. Yes. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. TCU staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He really got a hold of that one. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. It's complete. Fires across the middle. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 57-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. Oklahoma kicked this one off, and he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he 
he's taken down at the 44. Well, that's a big play by the offense. And I got to tell you, as a defensive coordinator, you're blitzing and you're taking some chances. And it's one thing to blitz and to get to the quarterback and everybody high fives and gets excited. But if you blitz and you don't get home, as they say, which means hitting the quarterback, you're leaving your defensive backs one on one in coverage. And if you don't get to that quarterback and you're facing a talented quarterback like this man right here, you're going to pay for it. Tackle around the 44-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Mike 20, Mike 20. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. That's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Oklahoma is up seven. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He scrambles. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Makes the tackle. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Under heavy pressure. Slides down to the ground. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 21-yard line. Oklahoma is up a score. the corner and he shoved out of bounds right around the 18 yard line caught in a big hit he stopped in his tracks So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. 
Oklahoma can make this a two possession game with this field goal. Kicks up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, it just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they can shut this offense out. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. We played one quarter. Oklahoma leads 10-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. That makes us third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Listen to this place. And he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. out to about the 38-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They go to the left for a nice game. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it seven and six. 36 to Mike. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Red two. Kill, kill. Green eight. Panther two. He's out of bounds at the 45. fourth down the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt the punting team's got to give their kickers some time and this one is a beauty little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And down he goes, around the 32-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. He's in trouble. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. Called a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Oh, you got deep? Check back 40. Check back 40. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of five yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. They go with a run. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. That team is trash. Let's go. Mike's, Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Let's go. He 
makes his way to about the 28. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Danny's tackle after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. He has some room. And that sets them up with a first and goal. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. He makes it to the nine. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That makes his third and goal. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Tackles him hard at the three-yard line. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. away and it's through the uprights and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff nice kick plenty of distance and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback you know we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points kind of fun to see defenses play this well kind of refreshing isn't it i mean every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s this is one of those low scoring games which offense will get that big break eventually could be the team that wins it the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation Good open field tackle. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he's hit immediately. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Oklahoma up seven points. Gets rid of it quickly. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. Scrambling around. It's on the ground. And the defense is on it. What was most impressive is how he followed the play, and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Oklahoma's lead is a touchdown. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. 
innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like it is going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this game. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. Mike 40, Mike 40. Hey, defense. Hey, defense, let's go. Let's go. One hot. Here's an opening. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 37. That's good for a game of 22 yards. First down. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Black 85. Motion. Black 85. Easy, easy, easy. Sting right. Zips it to the back. He's at the 20. And he's taken down at the 13. That's a gain of 22 on the play. First down. From the 13 yard line, first down. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Makes it to the 12 yard line. That brings up second and nine. the 16-yard line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. From the 16-yard line, third down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Oklahoma is up four. And he's 
level at the 28-yard line. As, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. There's a strike complete. He's down. Tries to get around the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 50 yard line. Gain of four yards. That makes it fourth and four. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He fights forward to about the 23. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Room around the corner. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready! They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 37. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. They'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's at midfield. Not a bad return. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. Got it and brought down immediately. That reception good for around four yards. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Red 2, X7. Motion. Go. 
gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. And two. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Yeah, the defensive coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. The defense wants to dig in here to avoid any letdowns. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. Check, check. Alert, Sam. Loss of one there for the halfback. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. There's nothing better for a defensive mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Oklahoma is up by four. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes, around the 39-yard line. with room to run. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Another trip in the red zone here for the offense. They don't want to give it up like they did last time. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under three to go in regulation. Down. Cut. Down. Blue flag. 
He gets out to about the six-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the six-yard line. Pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Pull together. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Here we go. He takes it right side for a good game. He's going to air it long. He's tackled at the 25. First down. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Heading for the corner, and he's taken down at the 13-yard line. That's a game 12 on the First down. Get him! Get him! Get him! Everyone, Mike 20, Mike 20. Go! Red Hot! And they hit him in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. From the 16-yard line, second down. Mike 40, Mike 40. A little over a minute in the game. <laughs> Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of about two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. And this is the eighth play of the drive. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. He brings it in for the score and the lead. The Horn Frogs knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for them in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. He makes the PAT. TCU to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Oklahoma's going to take their first time out of the half. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Black five, black five. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. The Sooners use their second timeout. We have less than a minute to go. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at the 46. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 35. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Going long. He's in. 
touchdown. And they take the lead. the PAT. A six play, 75 yard drive and they put up seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. TCU's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Caught out in the open. He goes out of bounds around the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it 35. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He airs it out. Incomplete. Almost picked off. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 17-13, Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.